fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne. I'm here today to share my latest tool haul from Fan Cells. So I've got some things that I wanted to try out and then yeah I'm just going to dive in. Okay so as you can see two of them are pens. Let me save the big one for last. So I have seen these pens quite a few times but I've just never gotten them because I'm not a particular fan of short stubby pins. I have tried them before and I did not enjoy them. However, this one is meant to be used a little bit differently so that you can kind of loop your finger over it and then there's a rest in here. It's got like a little indentation for your hand. There's a rest on the sides for your thumb and your other finger. And I think it's meant to act, I don't know, it's just a different way to hold your pencil, I guess. But there are some people who have said that they really enjoy these, that the control is much better. So I actually am going to try it out and see how it works. So this one, and they have them on all different kinds of colors. This one was only $1.44. So I figured, you know, for a buck and a half, I could try it out. And if I like it, then maybe that'll reduce some of my hand fatigue. We'll see. So there's that. Then... I got this pen. Now, admittedly, I have seen these a lot, but I've never tried one. So the whole deal with this pen is it's also a light. So as soon as you remove the pen, the light comes on and you do have to twist the pen a little bit to keep it in there enough to keep the light pushed off. It doesn't look like there's any way to replace the batteries in this. So I guess once the light, <laughs> once the battery runs out, it doesn't look like there's any way to take the pen apart. There's some parts there, but it doesn't let you take them apart. So, but I wanted to try it just because I work in a lot of, sometimes I'm working at night and even light, a desk light or something isn't enough. I need something that's a little bit more directional and this kind of shines right down onto where you're working. So I thought I would give it a try. So there's that pin. Then I ordered some more storage. I think you guys saw in a previous video, and I think it was from a different company, but I got one that had 30 of these containers. This is kind of the Harbor Freight lookalike stuff. This one has 52 rather than 30. It comes with the same stickers at the bottom, you can see that. And these are essentially the same containers that I had just this one holds 52 rather than 30, which makes this a whole lot more usable for a whole lot more canvases because 30 by 30s and smaller or special drills might have 30 diamonds or less, 30 colors or less. But I do a lot of bigger kits and I'm usually in the 50-ish range. So having 52 seemed like it would be way more usable for me. Now, somebody asked me if these held more than the Harbor Freights and I don't know. So I grabbed a little container here. You can see they're different in size. The Harbor Freight is a little bit taller, but you can see a little bit of the difference here. For me, where the hinges on these Harbor Freight are and the big gap in there, I would get drills stuck or drills lost. There's less of a chance with the way this one is constructed and the lid is not quite as deep, but I thought I'd do a little experiment and see if it holds the same amount. So I've got three bottles of the same color that I've snagged from a kit and I'm just gonna pour them in here and see how much they each hold. Like will the Harbor Freight hold all three bottles? I don't think it's going to. Let me get a tray before I spill these everywhere. So let's see how much the Harbor Freight will hold. So I've got two of the three bottles in there and I'm just gonna fill this up. I'm gonna overfill it. And then I'm just gonna swipe it across the top with my finger to make it flat. And there I've got all of that in the Harbor Freight pretty securely. Okay, so let me dump these back in here and we'll see where we're at. So you guys can't see this, but the bottle's about to here. So three quarters of the bottle and I got those all in the Harbor Freight. And you can see here how it's kind of trapped in the lid. So when I'm afraid when I open it, those are gonna fall out, which is one of the reasons I don't use the Harbor Freight. And there's two caught in the little closure thing right there. So let's try this one now and see how much this holds. See, all those fell out. All right, let me dump these all in here and see if it'll hold at least that much. 
So it looks to me like they're gonna hold pretty much the same amount. Like I said, this one is not as deep as the Harbor Freight. Get them poured in here. Yeah, it looks to me like it's gonna hold about as much as the Harbor Freight. I could maybe pour some more in here. Let me try and get that closed. And you can see it closes securely. Let me try and open it and see how many spill out. Oh, none, and none are in the lid. I maybe could get a little bit more. So if you are someone who is used to the Harbor Freight, these hold, it looks like, pretty much the same amount. But if you're someone who can't get a hold of Harbor Freight, if you happen to not live in the States because they don't ship outside of the US, then these might be a nice option for you. They work pretty much the same as the Harbor Freight and it looks like they hold pretty much the same. So can't really beat that. And this was $18.54. Okay, let me get a bit of this cleaned away and I'll be right back. So just for a little recap, I've got my 52 container storage with the box that holds them all. Plus I've got my little stubby pen that I can try out and see if it gives me a little bit better control. And then I've got my little light up pen to hopefully light it up a little bit better. I will, as always, stick links to all of these down below so you can check these out for yourself or anything else that might grab your eye while you're there. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.